next guest is 18-year-old Michael Walter Racing Development driver Ryan Truex. Big brother Martin made news by signing with MWR this past offseason. Ryan won the 2009 K&N Pro Series East title by capturing three wins, two poles, and seven top fives and 11 starts. He became the second driver in series history to win the championship and rookie of the year honors in the same season. So far in 2010, Ryan has one win in six starts and is once again atop the driver standings. And we welcome Ryan Truex to the hub for the first time. And, oh, by the way, his boss, Michael Waltrip, also with us here. Just kidding, of course. First, I, I really have to ask you, that win by David at Chicagoland. I was standing next to you in the broadcast booth. I know it was electric. What does that win mean for your organization? I mean, he went up there and grabbed the lead from Jeff Gordon and drove off to victory. And then, you know, I love Kenny Schrader and Rick, you know, Rick, you're my buddy. And just to be able to, I felt separated from my team, but I had my friends there. And so celebrating that win was, was something I'll never forget. I wouldn't change a thing. I was in Chicago. I left to go to Iowa to call the Arca race. We won. I wouldn't stay in Chicago and, and chance not winning. Ryan, tell us what it means to follow in your brother's footsteps. He signs with MWR. You come on to MWR. You've won a championship already in the K&N Pro Series. Now you're moving on into the Nationwide Series. What's that mean to follow? I can't even, I can't even tell you how much it means. It's just so special. and Everything him and everyone at MWR has done for me is just, I can't thank him enough. And, Napa's came on board with us for this race, and they've been behind me. Everyone's just stuck behind me, and you know it just means a lot to me. Michael, tell me a little bit more about your nationwide program. You've got Trevor Bain in there full time in the 99. We're going to see him in the double zero for at least six races. I know this season. What's your plan for the nationwide series? Well, you know, Rick, the nationwide team is the roots of MWR. We started it behind my house in Cheryl's Ford and won races for Aaron's, and they've been an important part of our history. We've, we're now able to run two cars and if it weren't for Blake and Gary Bechtel those the Bechtels are really important that the, for our nationwide team if it weren't for them we wouldn't still be racing long so now we're looking to add a second car and we want to run both these kids in 2011 and beyond they're great drivers they have a great future ahead of them and we're just really proud they're a part of our MWR family well, Ryan, he just said great drivers. Now, I know <laughs> you, you're kind of getting thrown into the deep end of the pool with the big boys here yeah. what are you, what's your expectations for Gateway? Uh, not wreck, number one. Okay. Not tear up equipment, you know, I want to finish the race with the fenders on the car and just let it come to me. I mean, I'm going to go there, run practice, see how we do, see how we run, and if everything goes well, then you gauge yourself of where you are with everyone else and see where, I'm hoping maybe top 20. I'd say that would be pretty good for a first start and not wreck, definitely. Definitely want to finish the race. <laughs> Well, I think that's a good thing, especially with your owner. Yeah, yeah, right I like year. what you're doing there, bro. You don't want to wreck any of the equipment. <laughs> Michael, you've changed your philosophy this year. Obviously, you're not behind the wheel as much. You're more of an owner. What do you think about the racing on the racetrack now with the have-at-it boys, the double-file restarts? What are you thinking about? It's the best ever. The Daytona 500, take out the pothole, the Daytona 500 was maybe the greatest Daytona 500 ever. Listen to what happened at Martinsville. Denny Hamlin restarts ninth with three to go and wins the race. We've never seen that before. Talladega, a record number of lead changes. The best racing in the history of NASCAR has taken place in 2010. And I've loved the fact that I've been able to sit up in the stands and watch every lap of it. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Speaking of fun, obviously a championship with him a year ago. Now, is that the goal again this year to get that championship in the K&N Pro Series East? Yeah, definitely. Definitely that's what we want to do. And we're doing pretty good at it right now. I mean, we've had the dominant car every weekend and we won two weeks ago and got fifth at Lime Rock last week. So we've been running good. So hopefully we can get it. And what do you think about the potential of this young man sitting next to you? Well, what he accomplished last year was amazing. He went into the Camping World East Series and didn't have any idea what he was doing. I thought we were just, I thought we got Ryan just so that Martin would come over and we we're just going to get this kid some laps. He ran a couple races early in the year and really just was mediocre. But then he got a feel of the cars and started winning races and running up front and captured a championship. I was as nervous at Dover as I've ever been in my whole life. He's out there racing for a championship. His car starts smoking. Smoking. He says, I feel a vibration. I'm like, why is this so dramatic? I mean, <laughs> why can't we just win the championship? But what a great job by this kid last year. And that's why he's getting the opportunity with the Bechtels and MWR this year to go race these cars. I mean, it, it's just a great honor and a great privilege to have a kid like him on our team. And I can't wait to see how St. Louis goes. Great equipment. Great driver. Makes a good combination. Good luck in St. Louis. Thank you. Appreciate it.
As we mentioned earlier, in 2009, Ryan became just the second driver in Canaan Pro Series East history to win both the championship and rookie of the year honors in the same season. Can you name the other? The answer, later in the show.